Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. He has authority over disease. He has authority over demons. He has authority over death. And he has authority over nature. There are several instances recorded in the New Testament where we see Jesus Christ expressing his authority over nature. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords over nature. Let's look at him quickly. First of all, the first miracle we see Jesus doing, he turned water into wine at a wedding to save a, a mom embarrassment at her daughter's wedding. Jesus had authority to turn water into wine. Jesus uh, produced a miracle catch of fish. Because of this large catch of fish, Peter had been fishing all night. He and Andrew and James and John left their nets to follow Jesus. It's because they saw the miracle, Jesus' authority over nature, they knew that he was someone special and they needed to follow him. He fed the multitude, one time 5,000 men, one time 4,000 men, one time with the, the, just the lunch of a little boy. He kept multiplying the food to feed the multitude. Thousands and thousands of people. Why? Because he has authority over nature. We used to run a homeless ministry in Las Vegas, and every week the number of people coming to our homeless Bible study would grow. We prepared food for 50 people, 70 people showed up, food never ran out. We prepared food for 75 people, 100 showed up, the food never ran out. We prepared food for 100 people, 125 showed up, the food never ran out. And in the years that we did that, our food, homeless people eat. They eat twice at a meal, they, they take some with them. Everybody got all they wanted, and the food never ran out until everyone was satisfied. Why? Because Jesus has authority over nature. Jesus was able to walk on the water and to allow Peter to walk on the water as well. You know, when you walk in the authority of Jesus Christ, you give other people uh, the encouragement to express their faith to walk in the authority of Jesus Christ as well. Well, he calmed a storm just with a word. He calmed a storm. Interesting, when I was a, a young man, my pastor was holding a big rally at Washington, D.C., and it had rained all day, and he was expecting thousands of people at this rally. It had rained all day. But just a couple minutes before the rally was to begin, he stood up in front of the crowd and he said, now the rain's going to stop here in a minute, and we're going to have a great rally for Jesus Christ. Just as he said it, the rain stopped. Not a drop of rain during the entire rally. I was leading a church where we got kicked out of the place we were meeting. We had to meet in a park. It had rained continuously for days. It was supposed to rain all day, but we, we prayed in the rain, believing God would stop the rain. And when the church service began, the sun came out. It was beautiful. Hundreds of people were there. People got saved because Jesus has authority over nature. Jesus put a coin in a fish's mouth to pay Peter's taxes because Jesus has authority over nature. He cursed the fig tree the last week of his life because he has authority over nature. He produced a, after he rose from the dead, Peter was struggling because of his own failure. Uh, in denying Jesus, and he went fishing. He didn't catch anything. Jesus uh, spoke to him, back, bringing him back to the point where Jesus had called him in the first place with a miraculous catch of fish. And he caught another miraculous catch of fish, and they counted it, 153 fish to be exact, because Jesus has authority over nature. You know, Jesus... He did these things out of love, not just to show his power, but to, to show his love and concern for people. And Jesus loves and, and cares about you. He has authority. He can do the impossible. Put your faith in Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords.